Hello, I'm Joe Worley, and this is Joe Worley Precious Metal Arts. Um, today we're going to start making the bezel and shank for a custom design ring. Um, I'm going to stop the camera now and show you some better video. These are the sketches of the ring that we're going to be starting on today. Uh, the motif is a dream catcher kind of style, and it has a little uh, rose gold feather and a little blue diamond that's going to be bezel set in it. Um, and the whole bezel, body of the ring and everything is going to be made in platinum. And we have over here a copper study that basically shows us kind of the general layout of the dream catcher weave going on that, around the ring. And the bezel that's going to be holding the center stone. And to start, we've already melted and made the stock that we're going to make that bezel out of right here and here is our wire stock for the shank. Next we're going to be scribing a nice circle around there to pierce out and begin forming our bezel. So now we've cut out the disc that we're going to use to uh, make our bezel for that stone there and after sawing it out the next step is to anneal it so that when we start our forming it doesn't um, overstress the metal. You have to listen to heavy metal while you're working with metal. It just kind of makes it work better. And these are the punches that we're going to be using to begin forming our bezel. And that dapping block there. This guy right here. Now we've got the dome formed. Let's see if we can get a better shot. There we go. Got that all formed. The metal's all been annealed again. And now we start taking it to our bezel block to form the bezel, which is, again, that guy right there. Alright, short but sweet. So now we've got our roughed out bezel for the center stone. And it's time to trim off the excess metal and get this thing looking good and ready for that stone and the rest of our project. So there we have the bezel ready for the stone. And now we've st I started bending the stock for the shank. And oh, it's about it's about two and a half inches long, something like that, and about eleven millimeters wide in that that bend. And I'm gonna notch it to where it crisscrosses so that we have a good seam there. crisscrosses there make it nice and tight and so next time you see it it'll be crisscrossed and probably rolled up to be more of a round shape instead of a nice flat shape that we have right there so here's the shank of the ring all rolled up and soldered together nice solder joints there sweet crisscross right there made sure to flow a lot of uh, platinum solder, hard solder, along the bottom so that if it ever does have to be sized, we can accommodate that. And I'm beginning notching out the ring right there. You can sort of see it barely with the video camera so that I can solder the bezel in nice and solid 
and have a good weld. You'll have to forgive me because I'm shooting this with one hand, but it will eventually go on there, something like this. And it's off. And that's where we're at today. So hopefully um, more progress will be made on it tomorrow. Thank you very much.